I recently went on a 12 night piano cruise on board Arcadia and had the most wonderful time visiting ports in Norway, including Stavanger, Olden, the Lofoten Islands and many more. It was also a particularly special cruise for me because I also got married on board. <laughs> I really hope you enjoy my daily vlogs around Norway and life on board Arcadia. If you enjoy them, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Hello, welcome back to another day on board Arcadia. It is now, today, officially a well needed sea day. We're all a bit pooped. <laughs> I'll show you what's in the horizon so you can take a peep at what activities we could do. So this is the horizon today. So sunrise was at 4.52 a.m and the sunset will be at 9.05 p.m. As you saw, if you saw yesterday's vlog, you'll have seen that even at one in the morning, it was still light outside. <laughs> the moon was beautiful with the clouds and everything. Uh, so tonight's dress code is going to be black tie. Let's take a look at what we've got going on. I have slept in quite a bit, so... <laughs> I'm just gonna point out some uh, little bits here and there. So there's been a yoga class, there's an art class where you can purchase art kits and you can learn how to, I think today, yes, today is hidden faces, so painting people, you can go for a walk with people, there's guest speakers, so this person here, Steve Deverell, he used to be a DJ and is really into like 60s and 70s music and bands and stuff and he just keeps popping up every CD to tell us about a different band from the 60s and 70s, he's done the Beatles, Rolling Stones. Today he's talking about the other top 10 or something like that. We've got Shuffleboard, Show Me The Money. I found that quite funny. Uh, join your onboard art director to find out why more and more people are spending millions on artwork. We've got line dancing, bridge, quizzes. And tonight the headline, the theatre company, are doing a show called Blame It On The Boogie. So I'm a bit tempted to go and see this. I don't know if anybody else in my party is, but we'll have to maybe go and see that. And then they've got like things going on really late in the evening. So that's what's going on today. Deck drinks from 6 95 Some yummy cocktails there, look. There's so much going on. But I think what we're going to do is just have a bit of a rest. I think we're going to get something to eat, maybe sit by the poolside, just have a bit of a, a restful day because we've been so full on this past week that we're ready for a, just, we just need a minute. <laughs> so we're gonna go out now, locate Alex's family, get something to eat, have a drink and just watch the world go by really. That's the view from our window, beautiful sea out there and I think on the other side there might be some islands and things which is exciting so let's get out of this cabin and have a look around. Ooh, I got some spicy corn fajitas, some wedges, some sweet potato and some peas. Very very yummy. <laughs> oh look what Alex has just brought me. It's a bakewell tart with custard mm. and a creme brulee. Oh fantastic wow look what my brother just brought great big hot dog and chips and my dad's got a burger i would have shown you it intact but it didn't last long <laughs> we've just come outside to the back of the ship it's lovely a little bit chilly but lovely look what we found in our room when we came back certificate of crossing the arctic circle that's so lovely we entered the arctic circle at 2055 so five to nine at night on the 22nd of august 2022 in a position of well <laughs> that was the position and that's so lovely isn't it i've been in the arctic circle <laughs> We've decided, <laughs> I might need to get you quite close so you can hear me. We've decided to brave the cold. We've got a little drink each, hot drink. And we're at the back of the ship again. Just watching the world go by.
We've just come to the inside swimming pool area. Just having a little relax. If you look up, you can see all the beautiful clouds above. We've got three jacuzzis, the swimming pool area there. And then just over at the back, they've got table tennis, which I hope to be playing soon, but we're just having a bit of a rest before then. It's just a really nice area to read a book and just relax. We're gonna have a few drinks as well. Every day, if you go to reception, you can get a crossword puzzle and a Sudoku puzzle. On one side is the crossword, on the other side... Oops! <laughs> we dropped the pen. Um, so on one side is a crossword puzzle and on the other side is a Sudoku. So we just sat by the pool, just having a real good time doing a little puzzle. We're doing alright, it says very hard. And uh, we're not doing too badly, I hope. <laughs> We're back with our Sudoku problem now. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. We even went, we went to the little counter and I bought a big book of Sudoku. <laughs> book one. With lots of different puzzles in there. So hopefully they'll be a little bit easier than this one because this one is hurting our brains slightly. Wow, it is so, so foggy outside. I think we're going to go out and have a look out in it. This is so spooky. There's just nothing. Can't see anything. Just fog. I can see a little, little bit of sea. But oh my gosh, there's just nothing around anywhere. relaxing afternoon it's black tie evening tonight so we've all got dressed up woo, into our posh clothes we're about to go to the meridian for our evening meal and then we're not sure whether we want to go to the show any live music or some quizzes because we do love a good quiz so we'll have to see where we end up I will show you the food as usual and, and let's get going we're back in the Meridian and look, it's a little ship. How cute is that? <laughs> Ooh, so this is the menu tonight. Marco Pierre White has recommended certain things. They've got, oh, we're getting a moose bouche, dressed Devonshire crab and scallop <laughs> ceviche, ceviche, <laughs> cream of Jerusalem artichoke soup. I'm probably going to have that one. There's a half split lobster, biscuit glaze. Glassy. Is that biscuit ice cream? And then here is the rest of the menu. They've got some really tasty things on here. Unfortunately, I'm not too, too keen on goat's cheese, which is the only vegetarian starter. I might give it a go though. It, it might be quite nice actually. It's just quite a strong flavour for me. <laughs> Ooh, our amuse bouche has just come. And I think I'm going to have the homemade porcini mushroom and roasted garlic ravioli for my main. Everything looks very, very yummy. This is the fried goat's cheese. This is the artichoke soup, looking lovely. This is the mushroom ravioli, little quail egg and some asparagus there. Hayley got the lobster. And my mum went for the beef tenderloin. And look, there's some deep fried cauliflower. This is a pistachio and orange ghetto, and it's a vegan one. Ooh. And it's got no oh, sorry, thank you. <laughs> thank you. No calories. No, no calories in that, apparently. It looks delicious. I went for the biscuit glaze. 
and that also looks delicious. And my mum went for the apple tatam. Ta 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 Everything's looking great. Woo! That was really, really scrummy. We have just got back to the cabin now because in between them, we went to the ocean room, which is like the games room area. And Alex brought his laptop and we looked through all of our wedding photos. Oh, it was so, so wonderful. It's the first time that our families had seen them and they were really impressed. I'm really impressed. Frederica was our photographer incredible so we did that and then it got to about half 10 and it was like hmm syndicate quiz or show so we went to the show blame it on the boogie how the singers and dancers have that much energy at that time of night Whew. it was really really good and i took an awful lot of enjoyment from looking around and everybody was just so happy and clapping along singing along it was really really lovely and the the singers were fantastic the dancers were fantastic everything was really really good anyway it's now well past our bedtime but but one of the perks of being on a cruise <laughs> is that you can go up to the buffet from 11 o'clock till 1 and they have hot chocolates and biscuits and you know just like real sweet things i think they even have like horlicks I've got changed, as you can probably tell, and we're going to go up to the buffet for a little hot chocolate and just to decompress before getting some sleep, before we decide what to do tomorrow, because tomorrow we're in Trondheim, another place that I've never been and I'm really looking forward to seeing. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to say goodnight to you now and I really, really hope that you've enjoyed today and if you've liked this video, be sure to watch out for tomorrow's video when we're in Trondheim. Thank you and goodbye! Ooh.